Hello and welcome to News This is Surbhi and I'm with Vijay. So, in an historic move, India today used its workhorse PSLV C45 to launch uh, EMISAT and another 28 satellites into its space for its global customers. Yeah. So, it's the first time that India has used, you know, these this number, these these much number of uh, uh, satellites to launch in its airspace, and the entire operation took 180 minutes. So, uh, tell us more details about it, Vijay. Surbhi, this is for the first time that the Space Research Organization, ISRO, mm -hmm. uh, launched 29 satellites, including yeah. a military satellite known as EMISAT. Uh, the customers include uh, from the customers from America, Lithuania, Switzerland, and um, on, uh, several other countries have uh, provided their satellites for the launch. And the cost of this launch is the military satellite, which is termed as India's eye in the sky, the EMISAT. Okay. So, EMISAT launch is very significant for the Indian Army, Air Force and the Navy also yeah. because it will significantly enhance their communication capability uh, in, in the inside, the inside and outside the country. So, uh, Vijay, can you tell our viewers what is EMISAT and what are its advantages or disadvantages or whatever it is? Uh, as I told you that EMISAT is a military satellite, yeah. it has the capability to detect low radar signatures mm -hmm. emitted by enemy radars mm -hmm. and uh, other weapons mm -hmm. located on the ground. Yeah. So, uh, at the same time, it can locate low flying objects mm -hmm. like cruise missiles, mm -hmm. unmanned aerial vehicles mm -hmm. and other military aerostat balloons, etc. Mm -hmm. It has the capability to locate them mm -hmm. and send information to its control station. Okay. Uh, it may be based in Sri Satishdhavan Space Center in Sri mm -hmm. or it may send it to different military stations installed across the country. Okay. So, apart from that, it has the capability to intercept, mm -hmm. record and intercept the convoys, audio and video messages sent by the enemy countries. Okay. So, the enemy countries basically during the peace time or during the war, war time, they use uh, satellite uh, communication system equipments, they use um, military um, uh, wireless equipments to communicate, keep communicate among themselves. So, this satellite has the capability to mm -hmm. record the audio and video messages mm -hmm. and analyze them. Okay. Apart from that, it can also intercept uh, the coded voice commands okay. sent by the military stations to their troops. troops. Okay. Yeah. So, this is significantly the, however, the primary role of the uh, uh, satellites will be to locate enemy radars. Okay. So, we have open ground based weapon locating radars, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they are not very successful in locating the um, enemy um, artillery guns, yeah. etc. Because uh, the enemy artillery guns are shrouded um, or um, uh, are placed in behind the uh, uh, stones, mountains, or in um, inside jungles, and they are almost at every time the enemy of, um, uh, forces try to. Uh, hide them yeah. at some, several places. So, the radar rays fail to reach the particular location and uh, locate the weapon station. So, but however, you, we have got, the, uh, got an eye in the sky, it will locate the uh, weapons, yeah. the artillery guns, uh, tanks, etc., from the sky itself. Okay. So, it will be easier for us and we will get real time information about the army, enemy troop deployment and weapons deployment. So basically, it's been said that uh, it uh, the satellite would target a particular uh, particular uh, missile that was earlier sent by India into the space. No, actually, uh, on uh, March 27, mm -hmm. India achieved significant success yeah. in destroying a uh, live satellite, satellite yeah. that was um, uh, orbiting the Earth in a low uh, altitude, mm -hmm. so low orbit. Mm -hmm. So. The satellite mm -hmm. was the Microsat satellite, mm -hmm. Microsat R satellite mm -hmm. that was sent by ISRO into space on January 24. Okay. So, the satellite became the target mm -hmm. of our anti-satellite weapon. Yeah. So, the, it was a, um, um, it was planned earlier. Okay. So, undoubtedly, Vijay, it's an exceptional move for India. Yes. Like, because uh, recently we got to know that uh, another, you know, we became the space power after uh, uh, US, Russia and China. Yeah. So, well, this is all for now. For more news and updates, keep following music. Thank you.